It's a Monday, and workers are in a mad rush to get to their places of work early. Failure to do so will mean spending some two or even three hours of their productive hours in a gridlock. So the drivers on the 19-kilometer Tema motorway are moving at the speed of light. The sun is only rising beyond 7 a.m., and the traffic is gradually building up. Along the motorway are several illegal U-turns that pose threats to drivers and other users. But the sight of a wrecked vehicle just by one of the U-turns does not warn these drivers enough. Using illegal U-turns is not a one-off thing for many of these drivers. In fact, it's a habit. Good morning, sir. Good to see you. I work with CTTV. Yeah, you want to use this site? Yes. But why? It's an illegal U-turn, I thought. Well, I know. I don't. Yeah, so why would you still want to go ahead and use it? It's all right. Okay. So, this man in this uh, red Toyota vehicle with car number GT 865013 was just about using this illegal U turn. He says he knows it's an illegal U turn. In response to the relentless advocacy by City FM and City TV's war against indiscipline, it was like there's no law in the country. I mean, why hasn't the IGP moved into the situation? What is he waiting for to ask his people to enforce a basic traffic law? Mr. IGP, I, I really want to understand. I don't, can, I don't understand. We are sitting down allowing lawlessness to, to undermine our democracy. The drivers who have made using illegal U-turns a habit did not know that a crack team of police officers were out to make an example of them. I realize that I'm under arrest, but I'm only begging that it will not happen again because I didn't even know. I just want to pay the bill and go away, that is why. Oh, they stopped me because I took a U-turn after the tow boot and I said that I've taken a dangerous U-turn on the motorway. So I've been apprehended. I feel bad about it. There's a U-turn over here, so normally we, we pass that place and then come and turn at this place. So we just turn and then the police just stop us and they said, we are arrested by doing this U-turn on the motorway. In today's operation, an uniformed police officers at some of the U-turns on the motorway gave leads to uniformed colleagues ahead of drivers who used illegal U-turns. One after the other, the long hands of the law caught up with these drivers. Among them is a pastor, lawyer, national security operative, middle-class professionals like bankers, lecturers, and doctors, factory hands, foreign nationals, and popular entertainer Andrew Kujo, a member of the hip life duo Keche. He, together with 40 other drivers, felt the pressure of the law. From the onset, some of the drivers attempted talking themselves out of the pressure. Others placed calls to the so-called big men above. Some even wanted to resist arrest. But none of those arrested could escape the grips of the law in the face of a cameras. From the cross stretch of the Tema motorway toll booths is this illegal U-turn. This is one of the favorite illegal U-turn routes for many drivers. Interestingly, there is a police officer station here. Sometimes you don't just understand people. You see the guy, the policeman standing there. Yeah. The policeman standing there. Yeah. He's taking he's taking money from drivers and allowing them to enter. Are you kidding me? I'm serious. I'm serious. He's taking money from people and allowing them to enter. The one in black? The policeman and the guy in blue. So if it is told you want us to pay, why not create access for us to join the motorway? Because I'm coming from Botrace School Junction. Mm -hmm. Do you get it? Create the access for us to join the motorway easily so that we can pay too. Because if you use the main East Legon Road, it's a whole lot of traffic. If you go to the end of the motorway, it's, it's something crazy. There are other unapproved routes. I decided not to use the unapproved routes, but did use this. Be, so did you no, give, use this. Right. Use this side, not this side. Use this side and then pay too. Do you get it? And then I was stopped. I put the concerns of this driver to a member of the Public Affairs Directorate of the Police Service, ASP Simon Tenku. I wouldn't say that is the exact fact because one thing we need to know is policemen are 
deployed based on specific instructions. For instance, those you see at the tow boot, they are instructed to do specific things and might not necessarily be checking those using unlawful u turn And whoever, as a police officer, go contrary to what he has or he or she has been instructed to do, we know there is sanctions for that. But I trust and believe our men will make sure the right thing is done on the road. Keche, after pep talks with the police, became an ambassador of the war against indiscipline campaign, imploring motorists not to repeat the act. I don't take that in, but because somebody used it, I'm like, okay, let me just look sharp and just also use that sharp. So I came here and then, hey, this is what it is. And the explanation they are giving is very right. I mean, this is the motorway. It, it could cause accidents here and there. A car can be coming behind uh, behind you. You know, whilst you are taking that in, it could just bump on you a whole lot. So we are here, you know, waiting to just, you know, see what will finally go on and then go on. But then, hey, Charlie, I'm a victim today. So be careful on the motorway. And then I'm urging the government, see, we are human beings. You know, these things, they're supposed to work on these things. People will use it every day. Yeah. They are human, they will pass around, they will use it every day. So, so it's better to work on it. You know what I mean? I'm a victim today. I'm here today. Tomorrow it might be you. So I think we here, uh, we should also use this opportunity to just talk to them. So that at least, you know, they get to, you know, work on it for other people not to just fall into the same problem like here. Yeah. Some were arrested as early as 6 a.m. when we got here. By noon, the frustration and stress they had endured were written all over their faces. But Council, you're a learned fellow yes. and you know the laws. Oh, it is easy. But you're part of the indiscipline. Well, it could be indiscipline, but it does. Oh, please stop that. The lawyer among them had this to say about the delay. I am a counsel in the matter doing cross, under cross-examination. So if you don't go, would you think the judge there would know what is happening here and will not listen to you? No. But if the spot fine is working, I believe that my the driver who was driving would have been given a cheat or something. That go and then you report later because it's a duty for you to report. Mm. So if we don't report, then the, the, the particulars have been taken which I believe same was done to all the drivers, their particular, the car numbers and everything. And this can be cross-checked from the DVLE and find out the particular persons who these cars belong to. A little after midday, the police came in to move the drivers to the airport's police station. I must ensure the general public that this is not going to be a nine-day wonder. It will be consistent and it will make sure discipline is brought back onto our streets. The La District Magistrate Court, presided over by Juliet Osai Dodu, has slapped fines ranging from a minimum of 600 Ghana cities to a maximum of 780 Ghana cities to five out of the about 40 drivers who took um, illegal U-turns on the motorway. For those who had their fines ranging beyond 600 Ghana cities, that was because in addition to undertaking the illegal U-turns, some of them had their insurance and roadworthy expired. Now, the major source of frustration for most of the drivers today is that their dockets have not been processed yet, and their frustration is that they've had their whole day spent going through police processes, and here in the courts too, they were not told straight away that their dockets were not ready, which means that their whole day has been spent without them being punished. So the next time you use the motorway or any other major highway for that matter, and you think of using the easy way out, which is an illegal U-turn, just be mindful that City TV and City FM with its watchful team, together with the police, may be there and your day may not be very pleasant. Caleb Kuda for City News.